Hello and welcome to Straight to the Comments where we read the comment sections of tabloid news articles. Please stay to the end of the video to hear my opinion on this topic and of course let me know your opinion by leaving a comment. Please like and subscribe. Could you forgive a 10 month affair? New mother provokes a very divided response by revealing she took her husband back after he started seeing a 20 something just weeks after she gave birth. The unnamed British woman, 34, took to parenting for a mumsnet to ask other mothers for their advice after doubting her decision to stay with her husband. Revealing that they had been together for 15 years, she explained that they had two children, aged 5 and 1, and became distant after the birth. Said they were sleeping in separate beds with her partner often going on boys holidays, leaving her unsupported. Discovered he was having an affair with a 25 year old in March, and while the other woman claimed to love him, her husband said it was just ex. He begged her to forgive him, which she did, but she admitted to feeling low. A new mother has been urged to leave her husband after revealing that he started a 10 month affair just 6 weeks after she gave birth to their second child. The unnamed British woman, 34, took to parenting for a mumsnet to ask other mothers for their advice after doubting her decision to stay with her childhood sweetheart. Revealing that they had been together for 15 years, she explained that they had two children, aged 5 and 1, and became distant after the birth of their youngest, sleeping in separate beds, and with her partner often going on boys holidays, leaving her unsupported. The mum of to revealed she discovered he was having an affair with a 25 year old in March, and while the other woman claimed to love him. Her husband said it was just ex, and begged her to forgive him, which she did. Taking to the forum to ask whether she had made the right decision, she wrote, Me and my husband have always shared a loving, close, trusting relationship and love each other very much. Explaining how things changed, she continued, After the birth of our first child, the dynamics of our relationship did change. I was breastfeeding and co-sleeping and finding time for each other was challenging. After the birth of our second child, the distance between us became more apparent. Again, I chose to breastfeed and co-sleep with our baby. Me and my husband were sleeping in separate beds and our ex-life did diminish. Again, my husband seemed to continue with his life as before, going out drinking with friends and going on lads holidays, and again, I felt unsupported, looking after two young children. Revealing that things continued to go downhill, she said, in March of this year, I discovered that my husband was having an affair with a 25 year old. He ended it immediately and said it was a massive mistake. He said it was just ex that he loves me, and that he sincerely regrets his actions. The affair was going on for 10 months on and off in total, and started when our second child was 6 weeks old. She continued, my husband has never done anything like this before, and has always been very loyal. It came as a massive shock, and it was hard to accept. I spoke to the other woman who said that she knew he was married with young children, but that she had fallen in love with him. My husband claims that he was not in love with her and had no intentions of leaving me, that he got into something that he couldn't get out of and didn't know where to turn. Speaking about how she has coped since, the mother continued, it has been 4 months since the discovery. My husband begged for forgiveness and I chose to stay as I love him dearly. My husband and I have been really close since the discovery, revealing that her husband claimed he was in a bad place. She said, it is evident that he is heartbroken by his actions and he frequently breaks down and says that it is the biggest mistake of his life. He says that he didn't feel that I loved him, that I didn't show him any attention or affection, and that the other woman made him feel wanted. But despite taking him back, she admitted to still having doubts, concluding, whilst I feel that I have forgiven, or am trying to, I'm still totally heartbroken and feel so betrayed. I cry every day and feel quite low. I know my husband loves me and I think I believe 
that she meant nothing but I can not seem to move past the hurt and need some advice. Will things ever get any easier? Will the hurt ever go away? And the majority of parents urged her to leave, slamming the husband for not supporting her and their new baby and arguing that a one-off may be forgivable, but an affair was not. One woman wrote, speaking as someone who was in your shoes, I'm sorry but it wasn't a mistake. S asterisk 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 her once, and then realizing it shouldn't have happened is a mistake. Carrying on an affair on and off for 10 months is not a mistake. 10 months he continued to see this woman. Another added, he is only sorry he was caught. If he wasn't caught, he would still be S asterisk 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 her. Meanwhile one parent said she had been in the same position and still regrets not leaving. She said, this happened to me, and 12 years on I wish I had left. I'm trying to leave now as there are other issues. You may have neglected him, but that's probably because you had to do everything, and he wasn't giving you the support a new mother needs. He should have been looking after you. Agreeing, another wrote, your baby was 6 weeks old, and he was out with another woman. You said he doesn't blame you, but saying he thought you didn't love him, and that you were not giving affection clearly is placing the blame firmly on you. I'm sorry Op, there's no way I could move forward with this PR asterisk asterisk asterisk. You feel low, because of his actions. And one woman said she wouldn't be able to trust him again, writing, I could never forgive that. A one-off mistake would still be heartbreaking, but I could try and get past it. A 10-month affair where they were probably having passionate ex and lots of excitement together would destroy me, and I'd never trust a word he says again. But a few women claimed it was possible to move on from an affair, with one recalling her parents moving on after her father had two affairs. She said, I think it's possible to forgive and move on from this. My father had two affairs, one in the early years of my parents' marriage whereupon they split up for a time, the second when they were in their early 50s. However, my mum made a decision to forgive him, start again, wipe the slate clean. It was hard for them both, my dad had to be an open book and basically had no privacy for a long time, and he had to accept that mum was entitled to be upset and angry and lash out at him sometimes. It looks to me as if they pain eased over time. Now, they're retired and very happy. They go away together, have a great joint social life with their circle of friends, and I'm glad they stayed together. It's possible, but it won't be easy and will take a long time. He's going to have to work really hard. And unfortunately, unjustly, so will you. Another pondered that the affair may be forgivable. But his personality could be the bigger problem, and concluded, I do believe the whole affair can be seen as a mistake, she was willing to keep it secret and he knew it was wrong, but he got short term satisfaction. Men compartmentalize so I strongly doubt it's just getting caught that he regrets. I'm sure he did hate what he was doing, but couldn't stop himself either. Getting caught is what he needed to realize what he could lose, it's a bit like a child, they'll lie and lie, until they can't lie anymore, because they know they've done wrong. The bits before do sound, like he was a bit of a res asterisk 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 partner and I think that is a huge area you need to focus on. Unless that changes, and you see proper change from him, then you can't really move on. A fair aside, you need tangible evidence of commitment. The best rated comments. No, if he cheated at such a sensitive time, and for 10 months, then he will continue to cheat for the remainder of the marriage. I discovered by accident my husband of 22 years was having an affair. It lasted two years. I had absolutely no idea whatsoever. I tried to forgive him. But after two years I just couldn't. We are now divorced, and he's sad and lonely on his own. I just couldn't continue being married. The marriage will always be tarnished, and I could never trust him. Can't live my life like that. It's so sad. I still love him very much, and he loves me. I guess the moral of the story is don't cheat. I'm starting over again at 52. For Javines is possible. 
but trust is something that cannot be repaired. Trust is a one-time deal, and when you break it, it's gone for good. Once a cheat, always a cheat. It sounds like she's in a relationship with an overgrown man-child. She and her children deserve better. I'd likely assume he was having affairs long before he got caught out with this one. Deep down I'm sure she knows the right thing to do is to end the relationship and divorce him. Such an unbelievably vulnerable time to even consider cheating. A one night stand would have been unforgivable, but an affair is next level. If she stays with him, she will do so in the knowledge he will never ever be faithful. Throw him out now, before he brings home something that needs penicillin. I couldn't forgive a French kiss. Brave decision. I wonder if their relationship would continue to last. I won't ever be able to trust him again personally. A one night stand perhaps, but a 10 month relationship behind my back. It would be constantly playing on my mind. Doubly so given how quickly he abandoned her at a very vulnerable time, after giving birth to a child and frequently leaving her to take care of both children, while he basically did what he wanted. Simple answer, no I wouldn't let him near me again. This is no way to live. I speak from experience. I also forgave my ex, because we had two children, both very young. He did it more times than I probably know. I got a stomachache every time he left the house, even if he was just going to the gas station, because was always waiting for the next time and there were several that I found out about. Finally decided myself, and my children were worth more. Met my future husband two years after our divorce, and I thank God every day for him. He's my best friend, and has raised my sons like his own. Celebrating 10 years of wedded bliss today. It's terrifying to start over, but has been SOOO worth it. My wife had an affair, I forgave her, but things were never the same. She had another affair, and I tried to end my life, because she drove me to be being so worthless. Fortunately I survived, with help I came through it, and I'm a stronger person now, but from my experience dump him now. You are worth so much more. Married men going on regular boys holidays is a recipe for disaster. I wonder if she went on girls holidays. Wow Ktivok wjth that where he stayed home looking after the kids. He sounds like the sort who wants his cake and to eat it. You talk about how much you love Esha other. This wasn't casual ex. This woman fell in love with your husband who was absent from your marriage, when you really needed him. If his priority is lads nights out, lads holidays and relationships with other women, seems his priorities do not lie with you, or your lovely children. Time to move on and find a nice man and decent stepfather. Sounds like a serial cheat, the types that go on boys holidays usually are. Get rid, it's a toxic way to live. He will do it again 100%. My daughter took her husband back after he had an affair just months after she gave birth to their first baby. When she became pregnant again with twins he cheated on her again and left for his new woman who is expecting his fourth child. Maybe when he finds he can't compete for attention with a new baby he'll be off again. I have never met a cheat who has only done it once. They can't help themselves. Feel so upset for this woman. I think it says it all that he just continued living like a single man, and didn't support her after the birth. If he had been supporting her he wouldn't have had time for the affair. These types of guys are totally self-absorbed, and I don't know why they bother having a family. For 10 whole months he lied to you, every day. He watched you with his child, that you just delivered for him, and still went behind your back for 10 months. This is one of the most ultimate acts of betrayal. He didn't slip up, he made conscious decisions each day to lie and cheat on you. This will continue to happen, and you'll never be the same. He now knows that you'll take him back after the worst thing he could possibly do to you. You'll always wonder if he is telling the truth. If he is really where he says he is, 
who is texting him. That's not a good life. When your partner betrays your trust and cheats it's incredibly difficult to regain that trust. The cheating partner has to be the one who puts in considerable effort and shows their partner all the support and understanding they need for, as long as it takes frankly. If the cheating partner is not able to take on board the massive hurt they have caused, and tries to shift the blame then it's game over in my book. I know from personal experience. I stayed with my ex-husband, after he had an online affair, and it would have been far less damaging to me not to have taken him back. Having to look at someone every day, when you know what they have done it's not good for your mental health. Far better to end it, and have your self-respect. If he wants commitment from her why aren't they married? He's carrying on life, as though he is single, because he is. He's living the perfect life, out with the lads, on single holidays with them then home to his children and partner for home comforts. He can't have it always, in the end it will cause resentment. After 22 years together, my 52 year old husband has done the same thing with a 26 year old. My initial reaction was to try and save our marriage. Once the realization of what he had done sank in I realized I could never trust him again. I'm now so happy with my decision to close that door. Absolutely not. I was pregnant when I left my ex after finding out he cheated. It would have been easier to stay, but why would I? Life is great now. His solution to feeling unloved is to have an affair, rather than try talking to you. You will never 100% trust him, and feel truly happy, don't you think you deserve better than that? Oh um, no. He doesn't value you, and if he, you have children, what example is being set? Affairs are for weak narcissists. No, try an 8 year affair. I think the boy's holidays, and going out with his friends, are a big sign he is just not that into you. I think you should give your boyfriend the freedom he so yearns. She might as well change her name to Dormit, if she doesn't kick him out. My daughter forgave her husband, when he had a fling, when she was pregnant 10 years ago. She's recently decided to divorce him. Although she forgave him, she never regained her respect for him. After 10 years of trying to make it work, she's done. She is once again the happy confident daughter I once knew. Good luck to her. The worst rated comments. He said he was sorry, and he still loves his wife. He asked for forgiveness, and she was right to take him back. All women should do the same, when the husband makes a mistake. There is no such thing as fidelity. You have to get those filters off. You have a brief period, where a couple are monogamous, which varies, then one or other strays. In thought, physically or virtually, you either be realistic, and accept in long term relationships this will happen, or you live in constant fear, anger, or disappointment. Humans are not meant to be permanently monogamous. Drop the fairytale ideals. Live in the real world, you will fare better. My brother had to go to Bolivia on a work assignment. He had an affair there, and when he got back home he was stupid enough to confess to his wife. She's a feminist and a sociologist, and since she walks the talk, she threw him out of the house no matter that he was on his knees. He's young, smart, and handsome so in time he was remarried. His old wife soon found herself on the shelf and realized that she made a foolish mistake because of her feminist brainwashing. It always better to forgive and forget as they say. She should get into shape and ensure dinner is presented on the table when he arrives home from work to make sure he doesn't have to look elsewhere. Ultimately, she was too tired and distracted to provide him with what he needs. She should be thankful he was considerate enough to not pester her. Not quite sure why us men marry, it's circle from the start. People start as friends, have ex, one side wants to get married, so they do, have kids, get stressed slash bored slash whatever, become friends, them split up, when the kids get older.
Finally, the man is always in the wrong, because he still gets the urge. Why would a bloke get chained to one woman, ridiculous and pathetic? Trust me darling, there's far worse situations than your own. I got my fiance's younger sister pregnant during an affair. There was a very dicey month or two while I was pleading with her to get an abortion. She finally agreed, when she realized her whole family would abandon her, if she ever divulged who she was pregnant with. My now wife is none the wiser, and I still get the occasional weekend away with her younger sister. It could have hit the fan for me, but I skillfully manipulated the situation to my benefit. I've had hundreds of affairs with hot women, but my wife has no idea. Sometimes it can't be helped. The woman in that situation could not satisfy the man's desire and went elsewhere. He is not to blame. Can't blame hubby. She probably got all fat from P and Moody. It's obviously her fault. Women should be able to look after the house and children and still provide plenty of X to their husbands. This is the root of the problem. Why are these women so tired and worn out by having a couple of children these days? She is young, healthy and if she worked usually, was on maternity leave. Think about all the women in the past with six children no washing machine, just a broom, an iron heated on the cooker. No freezer so food shopping daily. Sleeping in a separate room obviously sent out signals to her partner, but, nevertheless, he was wrong. Even if he hasn't said forsaking all others, he hasn't broken any vows as he hasn't made any. She turned the tap off so what did she expect? So they were sleeping in separate bedrooms. It seems to me, she took her eye of the ball and started taking her husband for granted. We need love too, but I don't condone his actions, not right on his wife or the mistress. He should views pro prostitutes as there's no emotions at play. I'm glad that he was able to forgive her for pushing him away, and that now they are a couple again. She just needs to work on her relationship communications moving forward. If she is committed to changing there shouldn't be any issues in the future. A woman complaining about being a mom. Not very nice. Oh just grow up. It works both ways. I never loved my husbands. I married for money and status, and cheated on all three husbands. My mother did the same, and I encouraged two of my three daughters to do the same. Third daughter is my favorite, so she will never have to worry financially. I would be perfectly happy not knowing about it, before, during, or after. Some men are serial cheaters does not necessarily make them bad husbands, providers, or fathers. The 20 something probably gave him better ex. Obviously if you don't give him attention in the bedroom has going to be running with a newer model, while you faff about. If ex is used as a weapon against the husband and the wife cannot be shocked if surprised, when he retaliates by looking elsewhere. How about just fulfilling your marriage vows instead? Men have needs. If she leaves him then she won't be able to sponge money off her man in the future that's why she hasn't left. If someone repents, then they are absolved of all transgressions. Apparently she didn't get that memo. Her trust issues are down to her, she needs to accept his apology and assurances or let him live his life. A real woman would forgive. A woman sticks by her man no matter what. I cheat on my wife all the time. It's not my fault she's overweight and unattractive. I keep myself in perfect shape, but she's a lazy slob. So I should be rewarded for my hard work by having the pleasure of younger beautiful women. She's lucky he stayed around. Mum's net, a load of fat. Frustrated single women who try to add some meaning to their shallow lives by offering advice to another lazy man-hater. Well if you're going to kick your husband out of bed so your kid can sleep there, what do you expect? Truth is, most people cheat at some point in the marriage, the ones that get found out 
wanted to, as they want out of the marriage, but don't have the courage to leave, most happily married people just respect each other enough to ensure the cheating is never disclosed. I'm not saying it's her fault, but when a baby comes along the father usually gets demoted. The husband is usually the last on the list. It's no an excuse to have an affair though. Lucky guy. Bit peak like, depends what he said his reasons. Where well, love or lust, lust give him another chance. For love then she should leave. Man has needs, what you expect sleeping in separate beds. If she dumps him that's another single mother. A give and forget. I'm sure he would have to do the same, if it was the other way around. I'm amazed, that nobody has acknowledged her role in the breakdown of this relationship. Whilst I don't condone his affair at all, look at it from his point of view. Wife had a baby then shut him out of the bedroom, and slept with her baby night after night on the basis she needed to breastfeed. Big mistake. She should have pumped milk off for her husband, to feed the child and let him participate in being a parent. Never banish your husband, and choose your child over him, or you are asking for trouble. If you send out signals, that you have completely lost all interest in your husband, because your child is your entire world you reap what you sow. I'm a woman BTW and again, don't condone his affair, but I can explain why it happened. Everyone loved to throw in the towel and blame the cheater, but these things don't happen in a marriage that is working. There is accountability on all sides. Both my parents had affairs, my father had several and my mother had a long term affair with the husband of her best friend, she kept it secret from her, because she didn't want to hurt her feelings, my father couldn't say anything, because of his previous affairs they are all old now and still together. No more affairs and it all worked out point it us hard to be a single mother with two kids. Not easy to find a decent man point financially smarter to stay. Together, it will work out, if they both want the marriage not to end. The most recent comments. Take his money and house that cad. The day I came home from hospital, after giving birth I found a pair of knickers on my bedroom floor which wasn't mine. I have been there, never again will you trust him. It consumes your thoughts, I walked on eggshells it changed me. I would have done anything to keep him, but in the process I lost my self respect. She too was 25 he won't leave her alone. Two years on, and I have met a proper man with morals. Never, immediate bums rush, gone. No way. I feel for her not wanting to break up the family, but he did this. She will never feel at ease again. There's no amount of words, hoil days, or gifts to make up for what he did. She will know no peace. At the start of the year I broke my engagement as my fiancé confessed to cheating on me back in 2016. The pain of the deceit was worse than the act itself. My memories are ruined. Despite my decision I do still love him, at least the idea of him, but I realize that's okay. My heart will eventually catch up with my head. I hope this lady has positive people she can turn to, so she realizes that she will get through this whatever happens. Better to end it now than stay out of fear of the unknown. No one, but no one has any right to make any judgment on this. It is purely between the people involved. Some would be able to go forward, some would not. That is down to the people and the circumstances. Run. That's not a marriage. You're just two people sharing a house, and his priorities are obviously elsewhere. The broken trust is the issue, added to the fact he started the affair, when she was incredibly vulnerable. I think the thing that stands out here is I chose to co-sleep how to make a man a new dad feel unnecessary. If a woman cheats, never go back. It's over. It's amazing the way that women refuse to honor men's needs. In fact they laugh at the man dismiss them, but are soon upset if he strays. 
women essentially communicate that their husbands cannot have ex with them, and they can't have it with anyone else either. It's completely unfair to take someone off the sale market and then deny them ex. I know they had kids, but it sounds like it went on for a few years, if it started when the fist kid was born, as she says it did, and then got worse after kid number 2, who came along 4 years later. I bet lots of men would like to strangle whoever invented co-sleeping. Women who put all their eggs in the kid basket are thinking short term. Kids grow up and go away, and you're left with your husband. Children need their mothers, of course, but they also need their mothers to maintain relationships with their fathers. Sink men. Want to pull. Invest in something that looks like a wedding ring. He should been up front before he strayed and been honest in telling her that if he's not getting it at home, he'll get it elsewhere instead and see where that path world led. The lying is a deal breaker. If someone can lie and deceive without guilt then they should be sent packing. He was only upset because of being caught. Point one zero months is a long time. Once a cheat always a cheat. How could there ever be trust again? No. What you will have now is a cheat. I did the same to my wife just after she gave birth. We worked through it and I'm glad she didn't leave. Point we are much stronger together as a family. Time heals everything so love can prevail. What else could she do with a newborn baby? Nope. He would be gone. I could forgive infidelity, but the problem is I would never ever forget. Once the trust us gone it can rarely be repaired. Some people have no respect for themselves. I knew a woman whose partner always played away. She knew about it. He even did it on their honeymoon and has continued to do so continually, yet she is still with him. It takes a rare golden heart to do that. Unfortunately divorce courts don't see infidelity as an issue when regarding the division of assets. Must be equally heartbreaking for a man who has entered into a marriage with original wealth to then lose half of that to a footless and fancy free wife as well as her affections. Could be true the other way round. But women with wealth tend to choose equally wealthy husbands. The answer is no. And my husband wouldn't take me back either, if I had an affair. We both knew that before we got married. That concludes the video thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you leave or stay? Personally I think I would leave, but I'm sure it's a much harder decision when you have two young children to think about. Please like and subscribe.